AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine via COVAX facility at the State House. We're here alive. We're here to see the day. On live television, the already loaded medical tray is rolled out in full view. The Vice President, Professor Yemi Oshibaju, Chairman and other members of the Presidential Task Force on COVID-19, as well as members of the President's Cabinet, witnessed the vaccination, a process the Minister of Health earlier described as painless, followed by mild discomfort. President received via a narrow gauge syringe on his upper right arm was administered by Dr. Shoaib Sanusi, who is the chief personal physician to the president. Personal physician of the vice president. Six minutes after, it is the turn of the vice president, Professor Yemi Oshibaju, who is administered by his personal physician, Dr. Nicholas Audifren. <laughs> Breaking news. Kemi Ululoyo is at it again. Kemi Ululoyo finally exposed why Nigerians should not accept COVID-19 vaccine. Hmm. Kemi Ululoyo misses rumor. She says what she doesn't know. She always say things are not real to gain attention. Look at what she has said again. She's trying to tell Nigerians never to accept COVID-19 vaccine because of what the COVID-19 vaccine is doing to the body. Even if nobody believes Kemiloyo, I don't even believe Kemiloyo as well, but I know for sure and this COVID-19 vaccine is a dangerous one. It's a very dangerous vaccine. A woman came out then, that, uh, that was last week, saying that she was given, was admi administered um, COVID-19 to, COVID-19 vaccine to, and she's still seeing reactions. And also I read four days ago about President Modi Buhari and the Emirates badge of the Vice President receiving this same COVID-19 and they had reactions as well. So I don't, I'm not saying because Kemi Luloyo said it or, 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 or Kemi Luloyo announced it or exposed it. This is why I'm believing, no, I know this before now. Since early 2020, this coronavirus has proven to be a force to reckon with as it took the whole world by storm and crippled the world's economy. It led to a series of lockdowns being implemented in different parts of the world. Nigeria went through more than one stages of lockdowns, not just in Nigeria alone, but in other countries as well. In recent times, there have been different developments of proposed vaccine to combat the spread of this virus, coronavirus. Different countries have started receiving their, have started receiving theirs, and Nigeria is not even left behind. However, Dr. Kemi Luloyo has taken to a platform to issue a warning. But before now, why did Kemi Luloyo issue this warning before they start administering this vaccine to Nigerians that has this COVID-19. Why is she just being, announcing this now? When it has, it has really hurt so many people. I told you that a woman came out and exposed Niger Nigerian governments. I know, because, no, I know it was because of this exposure, because of this disgrace. 
that it is great federal government that made Buhari and Yemizibajo coming out to take this vaccine. After taking this vaccine, after this vaccine was administered to Buhari and Yemizibajo, they had serious, so they have much side effects on their body. Yes. So, Dr. Kemi Luloyo, she says that she's an independent journalist and a blogger as well, who has gained vast knowledge in the field of journalism, both in Nigeria and abroad. That was what she said. We don't know. We have not seen any certificate concerning that yet. Because I don't want to know her, because she says things that are not real. The social media influencers and activists has taken to Facebook page to warn Nigerians against taking the COVID-19 vaccine. According to Kemi Luloyo, he said that the vaccine being used by the, the Nigerian government is not even safe for anyone in this country. It has been used by Buhari and the immunity Bajo and they had infections, reactions on their body. This woman, Called Kemi Luloyo, an old journalist, he reviews in a post that the use of this Oxford Extra Zenoka vaccine has been suspected or suspended in Italy because of what he did in Italy, Denmark, Norway, and also in Iceland. He has destroyed so many lives, so they suspended it. You can imagine, but well, Nigerians will never listen. It's like the government, they will keep advising people to use it and they will never come go across or go close to it. The Nigerian government has begun the vaccinations of Nigerians against COVID-19. As prominent personalities, including President Modi Buhari and Vice President Yemi Sibajo have taken the AstraZeneca vaccine, I told you before, and to see what it cost in their body. Can't imagine. No government official must message me or message anybody because they already know what this vaccine is causing. When I told you, so I then they told you to hire, hire people, hire doctors. They refused, they ignored. Imagine, can you imagine what is happening to them? Now, they need him. They need him now. It's an urgent, urgent need because of this. What this COVID-19 vaccine is causing. Kamilu Loyo also explained a vanished woman, which died after taking this COVID-19 uh, vaccine. On the on the on the post, she mentioned that as a pharmacy, as a professional with 33 years experience that she opened the batch of this COVID-19 vaccine must pass criminal trial a criminal trial batch of the vaccine and it must pass this criminal a uh, uh, clinical trial before being administered to people that is what they should have done but they will not do it they will never tested it they will never test it you can imagine, because they have missions. They have plans on destroying the lives of Niger Nigerian citizens. Nigerians are so dumb, are so, uh, are so stupid to their standards, they don't even know what to do at the right time. Even if such a thing is administered to you, you should have tested it in the body of an animal before giving it to a human being. Well, no, they won't do that because of their stupidity. When they see little money, or they, or they don't even know what they're doing anymore. You can imagine. So Kemi Luloyo advised Nigerians not to take this vaccine and also concluded that they should continue maintaining the necessary COVID-19 protocols. And God will definitely see them through. So, viewers, you should watch this video and know that I know what Kemi Loyo is saying. So viewers, after watching this video, are you convinced that truly what this COVID-19 is causing 
in the lives of Nigerians, few Nigerians, and just, not just Nigerians, but the other countries that have used it. Example, Italy and other countries like that. Do you believe, will you not listen to the advice given to you by Kemi Lawyer? So viewers, I know you have something to say concerning this news and the video that you just watched. So your comments would definitely be appreciated. Please drop them below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to receive updates whenever we upload new videos. Thank you.